Good morning. It is July 16th, 2022, and um, a, day, a day that will live in infamy because uh, I had a conflict in my schedule tonight. I had tickets for this uh, radio podcast that I really enjoy, and um, it had been canceled for like two years straight uh, due to the COVID. So when they finally rescheduled it, it was a conflict with uh, tickets that I got for uh, my girlfriend and I for uh, the new kids on the block <laughs> and uh, Rick Astley and Salt and Pepper. So I'll, I'll enjoy Rick Astley for sure. The rest of it, I don't know, but um, it got me to thinking, got me thinking about a, a story that uh, I kind of blacked out from my life and. Uh, it's relating to the new kids on the block, and uh, let's see, I got 34 minutes to tell it. I think I can do it under 10, maybe under 5, let's try. Um, so anyway, uh, um, <laughs> one night, way back in the old days, when we used to have landline phones, the phone right over here, um, and you couldn't talk, to, a telephone was actually for talking into and not for making these stupid, idiotic videos. Um, uh, so uh, the phone rang one night. Um, I come back from work. I think because I was late. It was right around eleven o'clock, and it was a, a some uh, crazy girl on the other end. I think she's probably like sixteen or seventeen or whatever. And uh, she screams out to me, "Do you know? I can't do it because she's from. It turns out she's from New York. She goes, do you know Joey McIntyre? <laughs> I can't do it, New Yorker. But anyway, she wanted to know if I knew Joey McIntyre, and I said. Um, um, uh, yeah, actually, as a matter of fact, uh, I don't know him personally, but I, uh, uh, I, I know where he lives because I actually had a friend that I work with, um, that lives, his father lived, um, he was from Quincy, but his father, uh, when we go visit, go over to visit, I actually went with him one day, um, his father lived over in Jamaica Plain, and it was like a street over from where that kid used to live. So uh, he showed me the house. It was like a big gate in front or whatever. And I thought that was, wow, you know, celebrity. Um, I think he was like a couple of years younger than me uh, at the time. So, and New Kids had played the garden for three nights. And uh, that, that was insanity that those three nights we got. I think like Tiffany opened for them or Debbie Gibson or whoever it was, whoever it was at that time. But, um, you know, it was, uh, it was good for my pocket uh, at, the t at the time. <laughs> Of course, that, that money was gone probably a couple of weeks later, however it was. But anyway, back to the, the story. So um, anyway, uh, you know, like anybody calls you and it's like uh, an insane person on the other end, uh, usually just hang up on them. But uh, I just kept saying, yeah, you know, um, uh, I, I do know. As a matter of fact, I said, you randomly, randomly just called somebody from Boston. I said, yeah, I do. I said, what's it to you? <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> She's like, well, we're coming, we're going to drive up from, we're going to drive up from uh, Yonkers <laughs> to, uh, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, and we'd like to, uh, we, we're hoping you could, like, show us where you live. Can you give us your address? So, like, any, you know, self-respecting, self unsuspecting, self-respecting uh, 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 model citizen, I say, sure, why not, you know? So this had to be back. I would say probably back in 1988 or 89, 88 or 89, before the 90s, I believe. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so that was a Friday night, and it would come up the next day, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, so they had my number, and uh, sure enough, um, like around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, this big, this, I think it was like a yellow Cadillac, big, long yellow Cadillac. And uh, I think it was this girl's mom was driving, and it was that woman, that girl that I talked to the night before, and I think it was her sister were in the back seat, and I got shot, and they had the Cadillac with the uh, the roof the convertible, and uh, and I remember my dad sitting out in the porch, <laughs> he sees the Cadillac out there, and I look at him, he got the cigarette going, <laughs> he's right in the car, I still, and uh, I just looked at him and I said, yeah, I'm just gonna go out and have lunch. That's what he said. He's like, oh, who are these? I didn't even ask who they were. It just was like, ah, oh, whatever. So uh, off we went, and uh, we went to uh, uh, Jamaica Plain, you know, a couple of miles from here. And uh, we, we went to the, where he lived, uh, Joey, and uh, 
the girl hops out of the car and runs to the house and tried to climb over the, the, the fence that they had. The fence was pretty high or whatever. So then the mother is screaming at her not to, uh, you know, not to climb the fence and don't do that because they're going to call the cops or whatever. And they might have had a private security there for all I know. I don't remember. But, uh, so that was really weird. And uh, the two of them, they were like really just totally flipping out over it. And the mother seemed like She's probably my age, and the mom probably my age now, but she was like pretty starstruck herself. So, anyway, so we, I think we, we just were there for a, a good 20 minutes or whatever, just looking at the house. And and uh, they took me after after we left there, but the story just keeps getting more exciting, I know. But uh, we left there and we went over to um, Costello's, and uh, the, the mom goodness of our heart she bought me a nice lobster lobster dinner like lunch lobster i don't even know if costellos are still down there anymore or whatever but um yeah so that was that story it was just uh it's just really bizarre <laughs> you think about it and uh the new kids on the block now they're these they're the old geezers on the block now but the funny thing like i was thinking last night when i was at work you know only a couple of blocks from the garden and i was thinking like the, the night that I was, the nights that they were there, and all those girls that, that I've seen walking down there now to the show, um, and they're all, you know, in the late 40s, early 50s, or whatever, and they have their kids, you know, the same age as they were when I was seeing them at the garden going nuts, you know, and, uh, yeah, circle of life. <laughs> I didn't see many kids there, it was just all older women, I'm sure that's what it's going to be like tonight, and, um, you know, I was thinking, you know, I'll, I'll miss going to see the, you know, the Kirk's, Kirk Minahan show tonight with the podcast, but, you know, you, you only have uh, one fiance, and I'd rather, I, I'd rather sit out in a cemetery and, and just have fun with her than go to a show by myself, even though I, I love the, the Kirk Minahan show, so that's my story, and uh, hopefully there'll be another, you know, uh, another, within a year or so they'll do another show or something and go for that, but... Uh, Whatever. So that was that story, and uh, that's it, and uh, I'm just going to hang tough today, and hopefully I'll have the right stuff tonight to make it through the show. <laughs> yeah, I know the music. I, I'm done. <laughs> Get the wrong stuff to edit. <laughs> Adios.